You know all of those little icons at the top right hand corner of your Mac screen? They could be making your life a lot easier. Hello and welcome back to Mark Ellis Reviews and thank you for subscribing if you have and if you haven't subscribed you know where the button is. I for one used to really neglect the macOS menu bar at the top right hand corner of the screen. I just let it fill up with all of these app icons and never really make good use of it. Now it plays a really important role on all of my Macs and that's for one really simple reason which is that I've started to use it properly. And if you didn't know, the menu bar apps are basically those little icons that appear to the left hand side of the time at the top right hand corner of the screen. But the magic really happens when you add third party app menu bar items. That's where you can really get things done quicker and crucially make the most of the apps that you buy. So today I'm gonna to reveal four Mac OS menu bar apps that I could not do without and I'll put links to all of them in the description. The first menu bar app that I could not live without is 1Password. Now the reason 1Password is so useful for me is because I have so many different devices and they're not all within the Apple ecosystem. So for instance, if I wanna set up a new Windows laptop or a new Android phone, the ability to grab all of my usernames and passwords from 1Password immediately is just so useful. However, the other reason 1Password is really useful is because it doesn't just store passwords, it stores notes, driving licenses, software licenses, basically anything you wanna keep a record of and keep safe, you can just throw it into 1Password. And as you would guess, 1Password is built automatically into the autofill things in Safari, so if you go into a website that needs a login, it will automatically bring up 1Password and you can fill it in from there. But where it really comes alive for me is the macOS menu bar widget app thing for 1Password. It just means I can retrieve anything from my 1Password vault really quickly. You just click the little 1Password icon at the top right and it drops down. If you haven't signed into 1Password, so if you haven't put your password in, it will just quickly ask for that. Obviously you can use Touch ID if you have a Mac with Touch ID. But once you've done that, it will give you your vault straight away and you can just search for anything within that vault. It's pretty smart as well, so it's aware of which app you're currently using. So if you open the 1Password menu bar app while you're using a particular app that requires a login, for example, and you have that login stored in your 1Password vault, it will suggest that you go straight to that from the top right hand corner of the screen. It's just so, so quick and useful. And the best thing is that 1Password is really affordable and there's even a 14 day free trial, which I'll link to in my description. Next up is Fantastical, which I've been a huge fan of for many years. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the built-in macOS calendar app, works perfectly well, but it is missing one feature which you get with Fantastical. And that is Fantastical's menu bar app, which sits very conveniently at the top right-hand corner of the screen and gives you a whole wealth of features. A little bit like 1Password, it just means I rarely have to go into Fantastical itself. In fact, I hardly ever go into the app because if you click the Fantastical menu bar app at the top right-hand corner of the screen, you immediately get your calendar. From there, you can see the entire month. You can scroll through to future months, past months. You can see what's coming up today. You can even add brand new calendar entries via the awesome predictive text input thing. So I use it for checking what's coming up on my calendar, just checking the date is very useful for that, and adding new things in as well. It's just, you can do, it's almost an app by itself. You barely need, like I say, the full-blown Fantastical app. You can try Fantastical for a couple of weeks for free, and you do have to pay for it after that, but it's fairly reasonable, I think. Again, I'll put a link in the description. Text Expander is my next menu bar app. I'm only a recent convert to this. I've heard about it for many years. It's talked about a lot on blogs and tech news sites and other YouTubers love it. And I just, for whatever reason, haven't bothered trying it until now. And trust me, Text Expander is superb. So I think most of us regularly retype the same stuff each day, whether it's your email signature, a certain intro to an email for a new client. So Text Expander uses these things called snippets, which are basically a preset piece of text. Like I say, it could be one word, it could be a whole sentence, it could be a whole paragraph, it could be an entire email if you want it to be. And then you assign that snippet a short code on the keyboard. So for me, for example, I've set up one for my email signature, sign off type thing, which is just, you know, thank you, Mark, whatever it might be. And for that, I just type in Z sig on the keyboard and it fills it in automatically for me. I've done the same thing with my mailing address because obviously I deal with a lot of review units for this business and I'm always typing out my address for people to send stuff to. So now I just type in Z add and bang, there's my address. But the great thing about Text Expander is that you keep adding to it as you go along. So while you go through your day, you think I'm always typing this thing out constantly. 
ah, I can add it to Text Expander. But getting back to what this video is all about, which is that lovely little menu bar at the top right hand corner of the screen, Text Expander uses it fantastically. So if you click the little Text Expander icon at the top right hand corner of the screen, you're given a box which lets you check your snippets, remind yourself of the hotkey shortcuts that you set up for your snippets, and even add new snippets directly from that window. And yes, Text Expander offers a free trial, which you can check out by clicking the link in my description. Lastly, we have Bartender 4. This is another app which I have previously disregarded, but I now could not live without. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, as you install more apps on your Mac, a lot of them will add their little icon to the top right hand corner of your screen. Now there's two issues with this. The first one is that that massive sea of icons just becomes completely unfathomable. That's what basically led me to completely ignore it in the past. The other issue is that if you've got a 14 inch or 16 inch MacBook Pro with a notch, the more icons you have in that menu bar, the closer they get to going behind the notch, which does happen. Now, Apple doesn't offer at the moment any way around this. It just keeps adding those icons to your menu bar. However, if you go and install Bartender 4, you can completely fix this problem. The premise behind Bartender is really simple. It just gives you much more control over exactly what appears in your menu bar. So when you turn it on, you can basically hide certain icons forever, unless you want to see them, or you can dictate exactly which icons you want to be there all the time. So I've personally set up Bartender to always display one password, text expander, and fantastic elf, obviously, but also the macOS shortcut to my focus modes. Everything else remains hidden until I click the little bartender button on the menu bar, and that then reveals all of those icons that I don't want to see all of the time. It's quite smart as well. So you can set Bartender to display certain icons depending on their status. So for instance, on my MacBooks, I make sure that the battery indicator is there when it's not on charge. But as soon as I plug the MacBook in, it disappears behind the hidden menu. Same thing with Wi-Fi. If my Wi-Fi connection drops, I can see that on the menu bar. But as soon as it regains its connection, it disappears into the secret Bartender 4 menu. Now you buy Bartender 4 as a one-off purchase, but you can install it on multiple Macs. It's not that expensive. And there's also a free trial to give it a go, which I'll link to in the description. Description. Just a quick note, none of the apps I featured today have sponsored this video. They are just apps that I absolutely love and they've made me or helped me make the most of that menu bar. But as always, I can guarantee I've missed a few out that you're aware of. So let me know in the comments, what are your favorite macOS menu bar apps? And if you've still got some time, keep watching for a link to a video where I go into my favorite macOS customizations. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.